Hello Aquarius viewers. I'm going to look into what your person's feeling, thinking, just whatever the cards want to say about the situation. Um, I was getting... Okay, let's see. So, I was getting that someone feels vulnerable. A couple weeks ago I was getting vulnerability, um, deep heart-to-heart -heart talks. wanting to reveal their secrets, like really wanting to open up to you. And I feel like some of them do have some secrets about why they haven't fully committed to you. Like they have like a karmic situation they're dealing with or they have some kind of third party situation. Um, could be going through like a custody battle or through some court stuff or just not fully prepared. Like they really want to, but it's, it's a good energy because they really want to be perfect for you. Like, I've been getting that energy consistently. Like, they're trying to figure their life out because they really want to be good for you. And there was some type of, like, vulnerable deep heart-to-heart -heart talk that I was feeling a couple weeks ago that they were wanting to be honest with you. Not tell you everything, possibly, but they're wanting to start to, to start to open up. And it feels like they are. They're just taking things slowly. I mean, I think at the beginning they were kind of... Came off like a little bit cold, kind of, you know, guarded, kind of stagnant. But I feel like they're moving out of that. And I feel like you're being very patient and gentle with them. And you're willing to take it slow, even even if you don't want to. I feel like you're still willing to do that for them because you know that they have a lot on their plate. And you're just kind of pulling them in. You're just, you're very empathetic. You're very loving. You're just kind of standing in your power and, and pulling them in. And you guys are getting to know each other. And I feel like that's helping them open up to you. The fact that you're so em empathic and you're so you're so patient and understanding and gentle with them, you know, you're you're not you're not being controlling. You're not being demanding. You're just you're letting them go at the pace that feels right for them, um, and that's making them want to commit. That's making them feel closer to you. They feel like you're very mature. You're very experienced. You're very wise. You're very um, caring and loving, and that's what they look for in a life partner. I got reconciliation energy here. Fear of commitment, dreams, visions, tele telepathic communication, submissive. Intention, manifestation, and power. There we go, sorry. <laughs> I feel like maybe someone from their past tried to come back around and like reconcile but they turned away and they're looking towards this connection with you instead because there's you know there's mutual dreams visions telepathic communication and it's like they're being submissive to this energy it's like they're pulling away from this energy and this might not even be someone that like reconciled recently this could just be again talking about like damage and whatnot from the past that they're they're coming through um but they're, they're using their intuition more. I feel like you're helping them. Some of you might be like psychics or you might be witches and you're actually opening their mind up to that stuff even though they might laugh it off. I think that they actually are listening to you and taking it seriously. Because it almost looks to me like they have this the choice to go down that path, this path right here, and they're instead choosing to go forward. You know, dreams, magic, intention, power, manifestation, being submissive to this kind of... Um, you know, emotional empathic energy. Like they're they're choosing to go forward. Like they're they're you know what I mean? Clubs, parties, social life, having fun too. Maybe wanting to go out and have fun with you. Um fast moving energy, chaos. Yeah, I feel like beauty, mystery, enchantment. Yeah, they're really turned on by you right now. So I don't know if you've said or done something recently um to put them in that energy maybe something it could be sexual but it also feels feels very like spiritual and romantic like like they're turned on by how you flirt and how you dress and how confident you are and just like your your smile and your just the energy the light that you radiate like there's that kind of energy that they're just you know just amazed by um So they're 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 moving fast towards you, aren't they? Yeah, it almost feels like. Because I mean, there is some deep heart to heart talk that they that's coming up that's making them want to. Well, I got that two weeks ago that there was a deep heart to heart talk making them want to reveal their secrets. I'm looking at these cards, and it almost feels like. 
see how fast that energy moved? It's like stagnation and then they're like cold, but then they, it's like you're patient with them. You're understanding and like you're just, your energy is making them want to commit. Your energy is making them feel safe and secure because I'm really getting that you're not, you're not like other women or you're not like other men. Like if women from their past have been, you know, controlling and manipulative and they've, they've gone through their phone and they, um, tried to keep them on a leash and they were insecure and bitter. Like you're nothing like that. Like you're so confident and this person's so turned on by your confidence. Like you don't need to go through their phone. You don't, you're not worried if they have female friends, like you know your worth, you know that they're going to be loyal to you if they're good enough for you. And if not, then you'll find someone else. Like, you know what I mean? Like you just, you're powerful. Like you just know who you are and what you deserve. And this person is so turned on by that. Like they're used to women that are, um, clingy and dramatic and controlling and try to change them. And you, you just know who you are. You just have this power about you and just this light about you. Like you just, you don't chase anyone. You just attract, you know, like you're like a magnet. You attract what you want in your life. You're just living your best life. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're just so different. You're so confident. You don't, you give them their freedom. Like you don't push them. You don't rush them. You don't control them. You don't question them all the time. Like you just you don't force conversations. You just let conversations come up naturally. Like you just, you're in your power. You know what you deserve. And this person is so turned on by that. Like they're so amazed that you're just like, you You just know what you deserve and what you want and who you are. And like, they're not used to that. They're used to women being like the complete opposite. So this person, you have this person eating out of the palm of your hand. So keep it up. If you're kind of not playing super hard to get, but you're, you're keeping them on their toes is what I'm getting here is that whatever you're doing is like, and you might not even be playing hard to get, you might just be hanging out, but it's like you have your own passions and hobbies and career. You're not just hanging on their every word. Like if you guys go out and hang out, it's like you have interesting things to say. You have a personality of your own, like you're you're not afraid of being in your own skin and that's very rare and this person hasn't really experienced that a whole lot so they're they're like thinking about putting a ring on that in the future like they're <laughs> it's 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 unique energy it's really good it's good energy though it's really impressive um or if you're a man it's like they're used to this person you know it could be male male female female male female female male whatever it is whatever the story is um, if it's like a man, it's like they're used to this man like being jealous or possessive or um, or they're used to men from their past being like that, like being negative, being controlling, jealous, um, macho, whatever. And you're just like wise and mature and stable and honest and you're you're like you you radiate that like real man kind of energy, but you're not having to be all macho about it. You know what I mean? Like you just know who you are, male or female. You just know who you are and what you want. Like your confidence is so sexy to this person. Like the fact that you're not controlling or manipulative, you're just you're just you is such just beauty, mystery, enchantment. It's such a turn on for this person. And also, also both so both sides. I feel like you have a strong masculine side and a strong feminine side and they love both sides of you so it's like on one hand you're you're sassy and you're confident and you're willing to talk back to them you're willing to it's like when you put them in the in your in their place like if you have done that yet it's like you do it in such a smooth gentle way that it's like you almost outsmart them and they're so turned on by that like they want to weaker people would be intimidated by that but this person's strong so they're turned on they're like wow that's like like they really just put me in my place. Like, wow, I've never met someone that's that much more intelligent than me. Like they're really turned on by this energy. Like, and it's making them like, like sexually it's driving them too. It's, it's like, Ooh, they want to impress you. They want to, if you guys haven't had sex yet, they're thinking about how they're going to do that. Like they want to make sure they do it right. They know that they know that hit and quit it is not going to be for you, that there's going to have to be a lot of foreplay. Like they know, like they, they put you on a pedestal. They have, you know, they know that you have high standards and they're actually willing to rise to the challenge and meet these high standards. So that's pretty awesome. That's very rare for someone to be willing. Most people don't like the challenge. Most, most people are insecure and they run, but this person is confident too. So they're turned on by it and they want to meet those high standards that you have. So it's, it's a really good energy. 
Um, oh yeah. And also, so like in like more of a gentle way, like your, your softer side, just how like patient and understanding and empathic you are with them is, is really turning them on too. like, you're very nurturing and, and, um, and caring and, and motherly almost and like loving or, or fatherly or what, you know what I mean? Like that you're very, um, just grounded. Like you're not pushing them for a relationship. You're not nagging them. You're not blowing up their phone. You're just, you're just being yourself. You're letting them, you know, as long as it's moving, you're letting them go at a, at a slow, consistent pace. And it's, I think the cards are kind of saying that they're going to get to a point where they're going to be like, you know what, like you've proven yourself, like I'm ready, let's do it. Where they're kind of taking things slow and taking things slow. And then just one day they're like, Hey, you want to make this official? Or like, Hey, you want to move in together? Like they're just, they're, they're realizing what a catch you are. So it's really good energy. And if this is your reading and you want me to go more in depth into it, um, my email address is below. It is dragonenchantress at AWOL.com. It is right in the description box below though. So just copy and paste that um, into your email right below this video. Any donations are appreciated too. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. My, my cake, oh my gosh. My PayPal and Cash App are also below. <laughs> New love, faded encounter. The, the way you guys might have met might have been destiny through social media, possibly publicity or like in a public place. But it's like your spirit guides, maybe at a, like a club or party or something, but your spirit guides brought you together. And I think your person had to pause for a bit because they might not have been prepared. They might have been like not expecting to meet someone, but now they're really... It's like life through that curveball at them, but they're happy about it now. And the mutual feelings are there, the emotional depth. The romance, the passion, all of that energy is is there. There's a strong sexual energy too. Because your energy like... Yeah, because you're getting them to chase you. <laughs> yeah, you're not, you're not putting up with any crap. You're getting them to chase you. Confusion. What's the confusion about? I almost feel like there's like a truth coming out about the confusion. Like maybe whatever's been holding them back, like they're wanting to be more honest about it because maybe they're realizing that you will understand. So for those Aquariuses that have been with me for a while, like, you know, what was that like a month, a month and a half ago, I was getting that this person had some things they had to deal with. Like they had like a custody battle or um, like a karmic situation or like something with money, finance, like some financial situation, something with the house like moving just some kind of third party energy that was you know they had to figure out because they weren't really expecting to meet you but they wanted to figure that out but they were kind of hiding it from you and keeping that secret because they didn't know if you would understand it it could be like health or um like fitness like mental health physical health just something and they thought maybe they could just hide it and kind of deal with it behind the scenes and they would figure it out and then you know commit but I feel like they've either opened up to you about whatever the secret is or they're like thinking more and more about it. Like they're wanting to open up to you because it kind of feels like like they were confused and uncertain and like hesitant, kind of had mixed feelings, kind of afraid that, the, you know, the truth would be overwhelming for you. And now it's like, I don't know if they have made the move, but it's like they're feeling that green light. They're like, OK, you know what? I think this person really actually does love me, too. Like, I think this person is empathic and patient enough. I think they would understand this mental health or physical health or karmic issue or whatever they're dealing with. Like, they're like, I think like they, you know, maybe some of them haven't finalized like a divorce or something like that. Whatever it is, the situation is going to be different for each one of you probably, but, but they're feeling like you're understanding enough that you might get it. So they're wanting to open up to you. They might slowly kind of hint at it, but not say anything. But I think they're they're getting more to that point where they're, let me know too, like, have they started, not, not what the secret is, of course, like, I'm not going to ask that, but like, have they started opening up to you guys and kind of filling you in a little bit on what the secret might be? Like, are they starting to open their hearts more and more? Um, I mean, have you, have you gotten like a sense of, of what the secret might be yet? For some of them, it could, the secret could just be their feelings, like kind of keeping their feelings hidden. And it's like, out of nowhere, they're like, like they didn't fully express it. Like they're expressing it a little bit, but not as much as you'd like. But then, you know, they're just like, hey, you want to like, let's make this official. Like, let's be together, you know, because your energy is turning them on a lot right now. Sexually a lot too. Like the way you keep them on their on their toes, the way you challenge them, but you do it in such a gentle, loving, playful way. Like just the, the chemistry between you two, it's turning them on a lot. They're thinking if you guys have not had the first time yet, they're thinking about what that's going to be like. <laughs> They're really thinking about what that's going to be like. <laughs> Overthinking about what that's going to be like. <laughs> 
Yeah, the divine is intervening too to get this person to to push past this. Um, this person is working through this energy, the, the fears, the, um, you know, that whatever energy they, they're trying to perfect themselves for you. They've been trying to perfect themselves for, for you. And the divine is, is trying to push them to take a leap of faith and just, you know, life, it, it's not going to be perfect. You know what I mean? Like, just be honest about this issue that you have, be loyal, be stable, be, be truthful, make this promise, you know, to work through it and you're good. Like you don't have to hold this, like this person doesn't have to hold this all in behind the scenes and deal with it on their own. Like the divine is pushing them to, to be honest and reach out because they're hurting themselves by not being fully honest with you. Could be an ex causing issues spying on them and they need to choose this path. Could be like a karmic issue or something, but I'm really getting that they're turned on by you a lot right now. So it's, it's good energy overall. Um, like I said, if you want a reading, my email is below in the description box. Um, any donations are appreciated. They a dollar, they all add up quickly. And um, yeah, please subscribe if it resonates. Thanks.